Hi Scorpio, this is your May 24th through May 30th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have death, we have the Eight of Swords clarified by the world, we have the Ace of Swords clarified by the Eight of Wands. In the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Cups with the Ten of Cups and uh, the Hierophant, and we also have the Moon on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with another Scorpio or a Taurus or a Pisces or pretty much any sign. This is a general reading. This spread right here is a breakthrough. A huge breakthrough towards a commitment. <laughs> so the first card I came out is death. Death is your personal card, Scorpio. That is you. I hope you know that. I really like the fact that uh, your own card came out in your own reading. It's always a good sign. And I really like the fact that it came out first. You're definitely in charge here. You're definitely calling the shots or pretty much everything revolves around you. This could also mean that you're the one taking action or you're the one uh, giving an ultimatum to the person you're dealing with and they will budge. They will definitely budge. I don't think they have a, a, a problem, for the lack of a better word, to start a relationship, but I think they were dragging their feet or they weren't taking action, they weren't really doing anything, they felt comfortable. Uh, with the way things were and um, you were feeling very frustrated. Um, that's why we have the moon on the bottom of the deck and the eight of swords right next to the death card. So both cards to me in this spread are talking about the same thing. The moon on the bottom of the deck is either a Pisces you're dealing with, but most likely the moon is all about fears, the moon is about uncertainty, the moon is about something hidden. So you didn't know what's gonna happen. Is this person gonna propose to you? Is this person going to offer you to take this relationship to the next level? So where is this connection going, right? This, Those are the questions you were asking yourself. And the Eight of Swords right next to the Death card, it's pretty much the same thing. You felt stuck, you felt trapped, you didn't know what's, what's going to happen next. And uh, the good news is that uh, there will be a breakthrough this week. The Eight of Swords is clarified by the world. The world is a card of an ending, so that energy is going to come to an end. You're not going to feel st stuck or trapped anymore. The world is my happy end card. This is one chapter of your life coming to an end and a new chapter, a very happy chapter, is about to begin. The next card I came out is the Ace of Swords and it's clarified by the Eight of Wands. So like I said, it could be you taking action. The Ace of Swords could be an ultimatum. It could be you just being very upfront with this person. You'll be like, so what, what are we doing? Where is this relationship going? What's happening next? Right? The Eight of Wands clarifying uh, the Ace of Swords. This is a card of communication. Um, the Ace of Swords could be them coming through eventually, right? You don't have, to, it doesn't have to be you initiating this conversation, it could be them. But the Ace of Swords is uh, when we cut something out of our lives or we basically talk what's on our mind. So somebody here will definitely make this connection move forward with the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Um, and look at the uh, potential outcome. <laughs> Um, we have the Ace of Cups with the Ten of Cups and the Hierophant. Uh, the Ace of Cups is uh, a second Ace, but the Ace of Cups is always about love. The Ace of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love offers. It's always about a uh, very emotional, genuine connection, very emotional and genuine emotions, right? The next card I came out is the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages. The Ten of Cups is uh, a marriage card and uh, it is often called the happily ever after card and the last card that came out is the Hierophant. The Hierophant is the personal Taurus card, you could be dealing with a Taurus or the Hierophant is about something traditional like a commitment or marriage, right? So we've got two commitment cards in the potential outcome. 
Uh, the Ten of Cups, like I said, is the Happily Ever After card, and the World card is also a Happy End card. We've got two Aces on the table, and most importantly, we've got you, the Death card. <laughs> so you're definitely getting what you want, or you're definitely clearing the air. You will definitely, by the end of this week, you will definitely know where this relationship is going, and it is definitely moving towards a commitment with those Ten of Cups and the Hierophant in the potential outcome. So um, I sense a very intense week for you, to be honest with you, because I think it's about to reach a boiling point for you, because uh, you are living in this uncertainty with the Moon and the Eight of Swords card. So perhaps it is you initiating this conversation, but uh, they will play along. They will play along. Perhaps they're just lazy. <laughs> they thought... I, I really feel they were just very comfortable with the way things are, but uh, you're going to give them a little nudge, a little push, and uh, that will finally get them to move forward. All right, cool. Scorpio, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this person going forward, and we'll get you an advice for this whole situation. Scorpio, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Wands, we have Justice. And we also have the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus or pretty much any sign. You could be dealing with your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your significant other. This is a proposal here, straight up. This is a proposal to get married or to take your relationship to the next level, whatever that level is for you. Plain and simple. We got two aces on the table with the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles often comes through as a proposal. Then we have the second ace, the ace of wands. To me, the ace of wands in this particular spread is basically a confirmation <laughs> of the ace of pentacles. I'm pretty sure if we had two aces of pentacles in the deck, both of them would have been on the table right now. We have justice. Justice represents the legal system. And by that I mean somebody's got to have an authorization to marry people, right? It could be a county clerk, it could be a minister or a priest whatever it is in your case, or whoever it is in your case. And the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck, this is either a Taurus you're dealing with, or the Hierophant is about something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage. For, for those of you Scorpios who are already married, <laughs> it could be, uh, you could be renewing your vows, or perhaps something happened, something negative, something bad happened between the two of you, recently and uh, your significant other is coming back and they're like I am so sorry uh, here's a gift here's whatever you need let's just stay together let's not break up I'm still in love with you I still want you I still um, want to be with you and have children with you if that is still an option for you so this is like a confirmation of their love to you Scorpio all right but for most of you this is um, this is a proposal. All right, congratulations. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Scorpio, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. Also, keep in mind, we are entering Mercury retrograde, and that's when exes tend to reactivate themselves, <laughs> and more exes than usual uh, pop out. So the first card I came out is the Seven of Swords, then we have the Star, we also have uh, the Ace of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups, and we have Judgment on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or pretty much any sign. Um, so the Seven of Swords, the very first card I came out, this is a card of a cheater, this is a card of a deception, this is a card of somebody who is up to no good, or this is a card of somebody who ran away. So this is the person coming back from the past. <coughs> Speaking of coming back from the past, judgment on the bottom of the deck, that is exactly that. Somebody coming back from the past. Um, we also have the star right there in the middle. The star is the personal Aquarius card, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Or the star is all about healing. So when this person does come back around, they will make you an offer to reconcile, and uh, they want to heal the situation. Uh, speaking of offers... We have the Ace of Pentacles clarified by the Ten of Cups. That is actually one of the best combos you can get. 
to be honest with you. The Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. The Ace of Pentacles often comes through as a proposal. And the Ten of Cups is the happily ever after card. This is a card of commitment or marriage. So like I said, the offer is going to be outstanding. <laughs> so perhaps they realize that the only way to get you back after what they did is to propose to you or to offer you pretty much everything they've got. Um, so... Scorpio, as I always say, if somebody really, really screwed you over in the past, chances are they will do it again. So always keep that in mind. So it all depends on what this person actually did to you. If they just simply ran away, if they got cold feet, if uh, it was just some kind of a misunderstanding, then perhaps you can give them a second chance. However, if they put you through something, then I would think twice if I were you. But the uh, offer is amazing. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Scorpio, this week. We have the Tower, clarified by the Three of Pentacles. We have uh, the Knight of Pentacles. We have the World. And we also have uh, the Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is an unexpected offer related to your work, business, or finances. A very unexpected. Um, so the first guy that came out is the tower in this spread. This is something that happens unexpectedly. You do not see this coming. So if you were to accept this this job or a new business adventure offer or a new investment opportunity offer, something will have to be destroyed. And by that I mean you will have to quit your existing job and uh, start a new job. Right? So the tower is clarified by the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is a card of collaboration. It, so it could be a new job offer. The Three of Pentacles could be a side gig. Um, and uh, I really like the Three of Pentacles because um, um, from what I gather, it is often um, an offer of a manager position or a consulting position. Because in the Three of Pentacles, one person is standing a little bit above the other two. So the one standing above the other two is teaching them. So it could be a level up for you, right? The next card I came out is the Knight of Pentacles. This is the offer itself. The Knight of Pentacles is a, usually a very hefty <laughs> offer and a very decent uh, chunk of change. Um, so like I said, you could be leveling up. The next card I came out is the World. The World is either an ending for you, a very uh, happy ending. The World could also symbolize some place remote Right? So it may require for you to change location. The world could be um, symbolizing a, a job that you do over the internet. Uh, the world, like I said, it could be a card of an ending. But the, the world, this is my happy end card. One chapter of your life is coming to an end, but a new, very happy, much better chapter is about to begin for you. We also have the Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. The Six of Pentacles is a great card to have in work, business, and finances spread. This means that m you will basically have more money. Or if uh, you are still unsure whether you should accept this new job or not, this is you deliberating. Because uh, the person in the middle, uh, the person standing up, is uh, holding up the scales, right? And the scales are all about pros and cons. So you may take a little time to uh, make a decision whether you, you want to make this move, whether you want to accept this job, or whether you want to make this investment or not. But overall, this spread looks very promising. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen this week, Scorpio. We have the world, we have strength, we have temperance, and we also have the chariot on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Sagittarius or a Cancer. Every single card on the table is a major arcana card. So it's going to be a very major event or situation that you're not expecting. But the good news is that I don't see anything negative here. Nothing is negative here. The world, the first card I came out, this is a card of a happy end. The next card is strength. This is either the personal Leo card, so you could be dealing with a Leo, or strength is all about pure, raw passion. Strength is something literal as strength, so you may have uh, strength to do something or strength to hold back. The next card I came out is Temperance. Temperance is the personal Sagittarius card. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Temperance could also be about healing or Temperance could be about patience. Um, and uh, the chariot on the bottom of the deck is the personal Cancer card. You could be dealing with a Cancer 
or the chariot is a card of a victory. The chariot could also be a card of travel or the chariot is all about moving forward. So you take your pick. It's really, it, it will most likely play out differently for all of you, but uh, what I just described could be happening. So overall, um, if, if uh, we want to stay very general, um, I think the spread says just be patient, have uh, strength, and uh, eventually there will be a forward movement. There eventually you will get to your happy end with that world card. So be patient, have strength, and uh, you will get where you need to go. And uh, like I said, since we have four major iconic cards, this is, this is something major, something global for you. But for all of you, it will play out a little bit differently. You can always leave me a comment, let me know how this plays out for you, because um, um, I can think of ten different scenarios, and uh, I just gave you a very general scenario. Alright, so that's what I got for you, Scorpio, for uh, this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. And other than that, Scorpio, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.